It's two-thirds of the insiders, Darren Dreger and Bob McKenzie. Pierre Lebrun just refuses to return from Florida. Really, can you blame him? Let's start with Hockey Canada, Bob, announcing that Mark Hunter will head up the National Junior Program. But we know he was a finalist for the GM job in Toronto, and there's a lot of time between now and the World Junior Tournament. So what happens if an NHL team comes calling? If a National Hockey League team comes calling for Mark Hunter this summer and he has an opportunity to go to the National Hockey League, he is free to do so. Hockey Canada understands the dynamic at work here, that Mark Hunter could be a candidate, and they're fine with that. They'll just put the next best man in place if Hunter leaves. But right now, Mark Hunter is excited and looking forward to that challenge. The next big question that I would ask is, who's going to coach this team? Could it be Mark Hunter's brother, Dale? Of course, they're together with the London Knights. They run that operation, lock, stock, and barrel. And my understanding is that even though Mark Hunter doesn't make the final decision, there's a Hockey Canada committee in place with the CHL commissioners, as well as ex executives from Hockey Canada, including Tom Rennie. Uh, Mark Hunter, uh, Dale Hunter is one of 10 coaches that have already been interviewed for that position. I don't think there's any question where Mark Hunter uh, <laughs> allegiance and loyalty would lie on that one, but they have to go through the process. I would think Dale is a leading contender for that position. Speaking of coaches, Darren, there will be some coaching vacancies in the NHL at season's end, and you're going to hear the usual suspect names, you know, Vigneault, Quenville, right. but you're hearing some new names to throw into the mix as well. Yeah, in an international flavor, if you will, and the hockey world won't recognize these names as being new because they've been around. Ricard Gronberg is the men's national team coach for Sweden, and this guy has been on the radar from an NHL perspective, I would say for a few years anyway. He interviewed for the job, head coaching job of the New York Rangers last year. Once again, he's on the radar for some NHL clubs, and it's either as an NHL head coach or the potential of an assistant. I mean, highly, highly regarded. He's got a North American connection, so it makes a lot of sense. And another name also familiar to the National Hockey League is Ralph Kruger. I'm told that he's interested in coming back to be an NHL head coach, but only if the fit is right. And yeah, we've got lots of vacancies for head coaching. Anaheim, Edmonton, L.A., Philly, St. Louis, and of course, Ottawa, all looking for head coaches when this season ends. As far as the Ottawa process goes, it won't begin in earnest until after the NHL regular season is over. That's between now and then. General Manager Pierre Dorian is going to be very busy with his hockey staff putting together a very long list of possibilities. They could have upwards of 30 to 40 names on that long list but by the time the regular season is over they'd like to whittle it down now the last time the senators went through this process when they hired Guy Boucher they interviewed nine people and I wouldn't think the list would be any longer in terms of the people they're going to interview now last year last time it was skewed heavily to veteran guys Guy Boucher Mike Yo, Bruce Boudreaux Randy Carlisle Bob Hartley and Bradshaw amongst others that may skew younger AHL head coaches uh, NHL assistant coaches with some head coaching experience, but this process won't begin in earnest until the regular season is over, and then they start interviewing people. Elsewhere, Darren, the uh, GM's meetings, of course, just wrapped up down in Florida, but the NHL also mm -hmm. invited organizations from around the world involved in hockey for the first ever uh, player safety summit. What can you tell us about that? Well, 15 hockey organizations worldwide were invited in. I mean, talk about having a great seat at the table, and every aspect of the National Hockey League represented here. You had NHL Hockey Ops. Of course, you had player safety there. You had Stephen Wacom, who's the head of officiating. You had Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly, all speaking on the practices of player safety but sharing ideas with these 15 hockey organizations, bringing multiple levels of the sport together in the spirit of player safety can't be a bad idea. And before we go, Bob, it's that time of year again. Uh, college free agent <laughs> signings, uh, some names on the radar. Who should we look for? Yeah, this is a busy time of year. And actually, there's some Canadian names to take note of. As we look at the names, you're going to be hearing a lot of Nico Sturm at Clarkson, big six foot three forward. But Max Verano, Ryan Kuffner, Taro Hiroshi, uh, those guys are all Canadians. Ver Verano and Kuffner from the Ottawa area, Hiroshi from Calgary. Uh, when you look at the defense and the goalies, Matt Robson, a goaltender from the University of Minnesota. He's actually from Toronto. So lots of Canadian content on the college free agent list. And those names we just showed you there are amongst those that are going to get a lot of interest between now and when their seasons end with their NCAA teams. The search never ends for teams always looking to find that late bloomer to make a real impact in the NHL. There it is, another edition of Insider Trading.